Hey everybody, welcome back, and today we're going to be doing another lab. This is Reproduction in Plants and Animals, Explore 1, Which Behavior Has More Success, and it's on page 21 of the Segment 3 workbook. Yes, we are finally in the Segment 3 workbook, so let's get started. All you're going to need for this lab is a pan, like this one, or a tray. Make sure it's a pretty large tray, and you also need... 50 paper clips and make sure the paper clips are the same size. I got some paper clips right here and you need 50 of them. All right, this is part one, fish spawn over five nights. So what we're gonna do is take five of the paper clips and just lay them out on the tray. Make sure they're not touching each other. I'm just gonna put them out like that, space them out pretty evenly. So that's fine, it looks like that. So that's the five paper clips. And I'm going to take another five paper clips right here, and I'm going to toss them one by one onto the tray. And we're going to count how many times the paper clip hits another paper clip. And when that happens, that means a fertilization has occurred. So get ready. I'm going to toss them one by one. So let's see. All right, that one hits, so that's one. Two, that one hit, so that's three. That one didn't hit anything, so the number is still three. And there we go, that one hit, so it, it's four. So on the graph in page 22, trial one, fish spawn over five nights, number is four. So write that into the graph. I'm gonna pick them back up and try it again. All right, here we go, trial two. Let's count. All right, that one hit, so that's one. That didn't do anything. That one hit, so that is two. It hit, so that's three. And that one hit, so that is four. Trial two, number is four. All right, now we're gonna pick them back up and try it again. Here we go, trial three, and we're gonna be doing a total of five trials. So here we go, once again. Nothing. That's one, two, nothing, and that's three. Trial three, we got three right there in the graph, and pick it up and do it again. All right, here we go, trial four. It hit, that's one, nothing, it's two, eh, not really hitting anything. Almost. So it is still two. And that's three. All right, trial four, we got three. It's right in the graph. And let's pick them back up and do it one last time for trial five. All right, trial five, last time, here we go. That one didn't hit anything. <laughs> that was way off. All right, that hit, that's one. Nope. It's two. And that's three. All right, trial five, we got three once again. So for trial one, it's four. Trial two is also four. Trial three is three. Trial four is three. And trial five is three for part one, fish spawn over five nights. So make sure you have that in the workbook. And now we're going to add up all the trials and put in our total fertilizations. So our total fertilizations for part one, fish spawn over five nights is 17. So put that in the workbook on the graph. And now let's calculate our probability of success. So to calculate probability of success, you're going to take the total number of fertilizations and divide it by 25 because that is the total number of events. So 17 divided by 25, that equals 0 0.68, but we're going to change it into a percentage. So multiply it by 100. That makes 68%. So our probability of success is 68% for fish spawn over five nights. Put that in the graph. All right, that is the end of part one. And now we have part two. All right, this is part two, single event spawn on page 22. So this is a little bit different. Instead of putting five paper clips on the tray and throwing five more one by one onto the tray, instead we have 25 paper clips right there on the tray. 
and I'm gonna have another 25 paper clips and I'm going to throw them one by one onto the tray and see how many of them hit another paper clip. So it's a little bit different. We have 25 on the tray and I'm gonna throw 25 of them. So let's get started. Here's my 25 paper clips, 25 paper clips over there. So here we go. We'll count how many times the paper clip hits another paper clip. I don't think that one actually hit, it just bounced around. So that's zero. All right, one, two, that's no good. Three, four, five, six, seven, that's no good. Eight, nine, ten. That one hit, that's twelve, eleven. 12, 13, that one hit, that's 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and here's the last one, that one hit, so that's 22. So a total of 22 out of 25 fertilizations. So on the graph, page 22, single event spawn trial one, 22. And the same for total fertilization, 22 as well. And now calculate the probability of success. And once again, to do that, you take 22 and divide it by 25. And that gets 0 0.88. And that is 88% when you multiply by 100. So 88% for single event spawn versus the 68% for fish spawn over five nights, that's part one. So overall, single event spawn is the winner and you have a higher probability of success. So now answer the following questions. Your graph should be all filled out. And for trial two, three, four, and five for single event spawn, we're not gonna do those. And this concludes this lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We are almost at 100 subscribers. So please subscribe because that will really help me out. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everybody, welcome back. And today we're gonna to be doing another lab. This is energy. It's not energy transfer anymore. I gotta remember that. Cut.